Hey, what is up everyone? I am here to do yet another unboxing. This one's kind of out of nowhere really because I was not expecting to actually, you know, get this game really. I was just like, uh, I haven't been hearing any reviews. The game does look interesting, but I haven't been hearing anything about it, but I was really wanting to play it. And of course, nowhere I can rent it has it. Gamefly, of course, is unreliable as always. So... It was only 45 bucks because I had a $20 gift card for Kmart, so it actually turned out to be about 42 not 45 So, I decided to get it. Why not? I saw a couple of my friends playing it. Why the hell not? They said it was good. I got it. I <laughs> did Demon's Forge. So, for the 360. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to play this game, actually. I've been seeing a lot of gameplay. It looked like a game that I would really, really like. I like uh, RPGs like this. That I'm hearing it's more linear. That's what I like. That's why I love Dragon Age 2. I don't really like huge environments in a game that's an RPG. You know, like Final Fantasy doesn't make sense for me. A game like Grand Theft Auto makes sense. You could just run around and kill shit. And this, you can level up and stuff, but that's about it. Uh, well, and stuff like Final Fantasy. You could go level up and get loot, sure, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I find it more fun in something like GTA to have a sandbox to go around and murder people and run away from cops or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm not a big RPG guy. Definitely not for a sandbox game. So this, I heard it's more linear. I heard it's like, didn't hear much about it actually, but I heard it, it, it really is more about cooperative work together. You do missions just like any other RPG, but I think it's more linear. You do these missions as commanded, not not that you pick these missions. It is a story mode. So, and I, I don't even know if there's a level up uh, system in the game, but anyway, with that being said, that's unboxes. You might hear some stuff in the background. That's why I'm sounding a little weird right now. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of shit in the background that is annoying. So anyway, I don't know if this uh, unboxing is going to go up on today, Wednesday, or tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, you'll probably know whenever the fuck you see it. But uh, if this comes out on, uh, tomorrow, then you have already saw I did my LA Noir DLC playthrough. If I decide to upload this today, Wednesday, then uh, look forward to that tomorrow then because then that means that's going up. But I think I'm going to upload my LA Noir one because that took me a little while and, you know, I still I stood up late to do that so might as well make it worthwhile and upload it the day after I do it, not <laughs> two days after because I stood up long to do that. So anyway. Anyway, I'll play this game enough to review it, most likely on Saturday. If not, then not Friday. I actually, I'm going to go see X-Men, so probably Saturday. So anyway, it says do not sell before 531 because that's when it came out, if you don't know. All right, we open it, and the first thing we get here is, of course, just like in every game I've gotten so far, you, you either get a Skyrim advertisement or a Rage one, and this one, and the other game I got a couple weeks ago, was it was Alien Noir that had this? I don't remember. This time it is both on the same pamphlet. Look at that, Rage and Skyrim. Two games that look really good. Skyrim a little bit less so because I'm not a big Elder Scrolls fan, but I'm definitely gonna try it out because I try anything out. Shit, I tried Man vs. Wild, the video game out. And I loved it, it was an amazing game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Um, if you didn't see that review, go watch it, because it's probably my, uh, it's a good review, go watch it. Uh, anyway, let's open it again, it comes with a manual, it's actually pretty thick, but this is what it comes with anyway, let me do that again, fucking up on this unboxing, alright, it comes with that, manual, disc, uh, you take the manual, it's actually pretty thick, uh, ooh, it's also in color, look at that, colored manual. Uh, of course, you noticed it is a that was it called eco case, uh, and the disc art is not the same as the front art and the manual art, so that's good. And that is the back of it. I don't think I showed the back before. So yeah, anyway, this was a weird unboxing. It's uh, a game I didn't know I was gonna get, but I am excited to play. So yeah, that's that's get this sticky shit off my. Hands, you don't know how many times I've said that in my life. Sexual joke. No, not a sexual joke, it was just more masturbating joke. Yeah. No, no sex going on in the Gore the Movie God household. Uh, unless it's uh, 
Yeah, never mind. Uh, with himself, I should say. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, there's the back. There is the front. There is the side again. Uh, there you go. Hunted the Demon's Forge. Can't wait to play it. Uh, if you also are playing it, maybe we could do some drop in, drop out multiplayer. Uh, because it is a co-op game, if you don't know. But I think I might want to do this by myself because I, you know, I heard it's not a big story, like a really impressive story. But you know, I like these kind of small little stories where it's just uh, a companion piece. Well, not yeah, about a companion piece, and that's really what it's about. It's about you and your companion going out and killing shit. And I don't know, I like playing games by myself most of the time. So yeah. If I beat it once and I really like it, then maybe we'll do some drop-in, drop-out co-op. Whoever wants to play it. That's all on my friends list. So anyway, there you go. There's the Hunted Demons Forge unboxing. A little weird. You know, a lot of talking, but whatever. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.